Joining us right now, Gwen Grant, the president and CEO of the Urban League of Greater Kansas City. Thank you so much for your time and your input. I kind of want to start this in a linear fashion. Gwen, if you don't mind, walk me through your thought processes once you heard a verdict had been reached before you knew what that verdict was. What were you thinking? Well, um, I was uh, really experiencing quite a bit of anxiety waiting to uh, hear the verdict. I was hopeful that uh, that Chauvin would be convicted on all counts. Um, but I certainly was uh, nervous, anxious, in anticipation of the outcome. And once that verdict was read and he was found guilty in all three counts, how did that anxiety shift? How did you feel shortly after? Well, I, I had a very emotional uh, reaction. Um, actually, my daughter FaceTimed me and she too was extremely emotional about it. Um, and then I, you know, I <laughs> gathered my composure, but I did. I, I had a very emotional release afterwards because I've been following the trial uh, since it began. I wanted to uh, watch it firsthand to, so that I could really uh, understand the verdict. And, and um, so I watched the prosecution bring forward a very powerful case. And based on everything that I witnessed, I couldn't imagine any other outcome with this verdict. However, history has taught me otherwise. I remember uh, watching Rodney King, uh, Rodney King's beating uh, on camera and watching all of those officers uh, who were involved in that excessive force, uh, you know, be acquitted for that crime. So I was uneasy until, the, until I got the verdict today. I'm very pleased with the verdict. Uh, however, I believe that, you know, it is a, it is a, 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 a victory in a, a, a battle for justice, but we're, we're still in a war. Uh, and so we can celebrate uh, this victory today, but we have to regroup tomorrow and, and um, get focused on, um, you know, the battle to win the war uh, for uh, justice uh, in, in policing. And I hope that Congress will pass the George Floyd Justice and, Justice and Policing Act. And I hope that we can see change here in Kansas City because we have a problem here with uh, deadly force um, and excessive force within our police department. And we need to see some meaningful change there. All right, well, we have about 30 seconds. Where do we go from here? You talked about the police act. You talked about reform here in Kansas City. What are some tangible steps we can take in the coming days and weeks? Well, I believe the most tangible step we can take in the coming days and weeks is for uh, the leadership in Kansas City, the police board and uh, the mayor, to change the leadership of the police department. Uh, if we watch that trial, when a significant uh, event in that trial was the fact that the chief of police and other ranking police officers took the stand and spoke truth to power for justice and accountability for Derek Chauvin, a fellow police officer who murdered George Floyd. We'd like to see that same thing happen here in Kansas City. And with, we've had several uh, excessive force, deadly force cases here, and we've yet to see any serious charges or convictions for police officers uh, in Kansas City, and largely because the chief of police obstructs justice here. The conversation continues across the country and here in Kansas City. Gwen Grant, the CEO and president of the Urban League of Greater Kansas City, thank you so much for your input and your time this evening.